hanging out here with Mike Cooper. His son Nick runs a sportsman here in Canandaigua. Mike and I go way back, by the way, so we haven't had a chance to talk officially on the channel yet. How are things going for you, sir? Well, we're going real good. Uh, been working a lot of hours, so we haven't had a whole lot of time to put time in the car, but uh, we're doing pretty well. We're, we're making gains with it. Okay, where are those gains and what have you been working on? You know, be as specific as you'd like. Yeah, we're working basically on the suspension and stuff, getting the feel that Nick likes in the car. Okay. Color print sprint car is kind of tough with these cars, but... Um, yeah, a lot tighter than what he's yeah, used to, we're, right? Yeah, we're, we're getting it now that he can drive it a lot better. So what has to change? More the adjustment or the way he drives? A little bit of both. A little actually. bit of both, yep. okay. I'm trying to adjust for his driving style. Mm -hmm. But that makes it tough when you call it Big Nell or somebody, right? Yeah, we want to get that. this thing to drive like a sprint car, and they go, well, uh, yeah, no, <laughs> it no, won't, we, right? <laughs> we rely on the uh, the setup book a lot. Okay. You know, I've side, seen it, yes. Decipher for what it's doing, and then we know how to fix it. Yeah, it tells you all the cross weights and percentages yep. and, and all that kind of stuff. But that's only a baseline, right? Right. So you got to adjust. Yep. The track's different this week. The car's a little tight. Mm -hmm. That's what makes this fun, doesn't it? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It, makes it, it can make it irritating, too, but... We're trying to do minimal adjustments on it and let him get a, you know drive the car. Okay. Because we've been chasing our tails with it, and now it's we're just going to go with what we got. And, you know, air pressure adjustments, maybe a turn here, a turn there, and that's it. Okay. And you coming from stock cars, at first I would imagine in sportsman, you guys had to learn together, didn't you? Oh yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. What was the biggest learning curve thing? What was the biggest item it took time to get the handle on? Just the adjustments on these cars, are. there's a lot more of them. Oh, yeah? And you can adjust yourself in and then adjust yourself right out by doing something else. So. Just like that, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're, we're basically, we do one change at a time, see what it does, notate it in the notes, and then go from there. Okay. How long ago was your infamous flip at Rolling Wheels now? Do you remember what year that was? It was Labor Day of 2013. 2013 was when we were doing those TV shows. Yep. But the nice thing is, I mean, obviously it was a horrible record. Where it could have been a hell of a lot worse oh, yeah. for you. Yep. But at least it's memorialized in video, right? Yep, exactly. Yep. How Were you fortunate that day? Because, I mean, I watch it now and I wonder how you walked away. I do too. The last thing I remember was hitting the wall. And then, then the safety crew was there and I was trying to get my helmet off. Um, anything that happened between there, I don't remember. And that was it? You decided to call it quits? Yeah. Was it an easy decision or a hard decision? It was, that was an easy decision. Okay. Yep. Was your wife involved in the decision at all? Or, or did you just uh, say, or did you know right then and there, I'm done? No, I knew right then and there. So before you left the track? Yep. All right. So nobody had to convince you? No. Nope. Did you have any doubts at any point? Was there ever a time that pulled you back that made you wish you didn't? Well, sometimes I do, but I, I know I, I'm just not physically able to do it anymore like I used to. And, uh, okay. So I got to be careful. All right. Good to see you. Appreciate the honesty and uh, hope you guys have a good night tonight. It's okay. Nick Cooper. We drive the number 35. He'll be going out for hot laps in just a moment. Again, thanks to Bicknell Racing Products, Swift Springs. All you guys have hit the pay bell. Thank you very much. Good luck tonight. Thank you.